The name of this lab is Model Analysis using Laser Vibrometer. So in this lab, I will show you how to use this laser vibrometer to uh, analyze the frequency of a simple beam. So here is the beam. You can see that white aluminum beam and we, we know all the dimensions of the beam and this end condition of the beam you can see we have hang over this beam with cables. So this is we are calling it both ends free. This is the condition of the beam and this beam is attached to a vibrometer. You can see it at the background. So this one is attached to the middle of the beam. So this is the middle of the beam and this beam is attached to that probe. So here you can see that shaker, this shaker is connected to this probe and this is connected to the middle of that shaft. So this beam we are going to attach this shaker at the middle and this uh, the shaker is connected to this amplifier. This is an amplifier, a 30 watt power amplifier and this power amplifier input is coming from uh, the signal generator. Yeah, signal. this is the signal generator. You can see the signal generator has two racks and, and this cable is connected and this cable is going to that uh, amplifier. Now, uh, what we need, we need this signal generator to be working along with a laser pointer. So we have a laser head and that laser head is connected all also with this uh, software control hardware. This is connected through a cable. So you can see this cable is connected with this hardware and then this is the laser head. So this is the Polytech uh, scanning laser head and you can see the pointer is located on the surface of the object. What we are going to scan. So this is our object today. We can scan any other objects like um, any surface uh, of a car for example and also we can measure uh, on the surface of uh, any vibrating object. So this time in our lab you can see the laser is pointed on the surface of this. So this is the laser. This laser is not that strong but um, you know, we should be careful about this laser that it is dangerous for our eyes. So we are not supposed to uh, just like look at into that. Uh, laser directly. Okay, so you can see we have we have a digital output. So we can see also uh, the object from this uh, screen. So we can we can also control control that laser pointer. So this laser pointer, um, what is it called? You see, we can move this laser pointer with our and also you can see the reflection there. So the control is, Oops. can control this over this computer, okay? Now, I will show you how to define points. So our objective is to define as many points as we want to scan. Now, I'll show you how to define points. So there are software, you can see that grid line, so we can switch in off and on. And you can see when we define points, it can be only going to that point. So these are the points we are going to scan. Now, when these points are defined, we need to check the signal generator. So, you can hear the sound. This sound is coming from that object as it is vib you know, under vibration. So this vibration we will be measuring using this laser head. Now this is our uh, setup is alright. Now we can check this input frequency. So you can see the frequency is given uh, uh, up to 2.5 kilohertz. Now you can see the maximum we can go up to 80 kilohertz with this machine. This is the uh, specification of that machine. So uh, we can choose in between these. So for this um, experiment, we will be going up to 
2.5 kilohertz to see five uh, resonant frequency. So, so five resonant frequency we we, we want to see. Uh, so this is our limit. So 2.5 kilohertz from zero to 2.5 kilohertz. And also we can see that uh, type of the frequency. frequency is periodic chirp. So this is the list of the defined, uh, predefined wave pattern. So we can select one of them. So this one is for our periodic chirp. We'll be selecting that one for this lab and then press OK. So this is the definition of our frequency. Now to scan, we can see, you can see the toolbar here. So from this toolbar, you can see this one is a scan. So you press that scan button, and then you just need to give a name of that, and then save it. So that the scanning file will be saved on a digital file that we have named earlier. Now you can see what is going on here. So this one, the laser pointer is moving from all the points around and you can see there the scanning process the point is going on the surface and this software is telling us the exact uh, scanning process and also it can show us with this legend you can see that those are the valid points and these are the list of these uh, legend so you can see what is going on uh, in real time now, it depends on how much time required for this uh, scanning, depends on the number of points. If you increase the number of points, it will take longer time. If you increase uh, the frequency, it will take less time. So you can see these couple of points are not optimized. So again, the process is going up to unless it is uh, optimized. So this software has a feedback control system. Now it is done. Now, after that, we are going to analyze the software data. Okay, so button is there. So you can see this is the presentation mode. So we can also, the software can help us to analyze the scanning data. So we'll be going to that, press that, and yes. So this is opening uh, the scanning analyzer. So you can see the data, all the data are there. So it is plotted over So this is the list of the data and then Now, you can see that there are some peaks are there. So this peak, this is the frequency up to 2.5 kilohertz, and this is the magnitude. So some, at some frequency, you can see this is the peak. These are the peaks. So these are the peaks that is uh, the resonant condition is there. So we are going to analyze those peaks. So to analyze this one, this is the selected band cursor. So we just need to select those points to get the peak. So this is the peak. Whenever we select the, this band, it will calculate and it will get that maximum peak limit. So this one, we are going to peak all the peaks. We'll be analyzing all the peaks there because these peaks are Okay, so we got all these peaks, and then, then you can see this uh, plot there. I'm going to zoom it up, and then I can rotate to see that three-dimensional view of that presentation. And then you can see 
So this is the frequency you can see which frequency we are working. So you can select this one. Now from this graph, from this animation, you see that the pattern, we need to look at the pattern carefully. This pattern is only one loop. You can see this is a sinusoidal type loop. This next peak, next peak is this peak, this one hit there. So this one is 407. So 400 at 407 uh, hertz, you see this pattern. You can also, you can stop it anytime. You can see this pattern is like sinusoidal type and having one and two loops. So this one, mode number two, so second mode. And then if you go the third one, you see this one, you can stop it and you can check it, one, two, and three. So this is mode three. Now, you see we'll go the next one. So next one is not creating any uh, pure sinusoidal wave. This pattern is twisting. So this machine is capable of showing up, showing up anything uh, the, uh, with this input. So this one is not uh, exactly uh, the mathematical representation of a sinusoidal wave, but this is also, you can see this frequency, this is happening at that one. So this is twisting um, uh, type of uh, frequency. Now we are going to the next frequency to analyze. So you can see this one is sinusoidal type. So sinusoidal type this is loop one, two, three, and four. So this is node four. Now this one is 1.9 kilohertz. And see this pattern is also sinusoidal type. One, two, three, four, and five. So this is node five. So we have selected up to 2.5 kilohertz. And within 2.5 kilohertz, it is possible to get five uh, resonant condition uh, with this beam. So uh, this software will show you the pattern as well as we can see uh, the pl uh, amplitude and everything. We can get any data from that animation. So this animation and also we can pick a point. So what is the maximum amplitude? We can also get it from that uh, data. So this software is helpful for analyzing all the data and the pattern. And we can, depending on the pattern, we can select which one is uh, pure uh, vibration, what we're looking at, and what is in the twisting or other frequency. For example, this one, we have shown that twisting. So this is not that what we're looking at. I have already demonstrated how to uh, get uh, uh, this frequency with this laser vibrometer, but there are some points to be noted. Uh, first of all, I want to tell you about the limitation of this machine. So, you know, we are using laser uh, uh, measurement, laser equipment. So, this laser has some limitations uh, uh, for the measurement. As you see, if we have shiny ob object, then it will be a problem for the measurement because uh, shiny object, you know, there, there will be problem of reflection and refraction. So uh, we need to make sure that uh, its uh, surface is uh, pre-treated. So how can you treat this uh, shiny object? For example, this was very shiny object. You can see uh, we have painted over a very thin layer of coating, not uh, like enamel paint. So if you change these you know, properties, you need to be careful about uh, to when you are just making some uh, modification of the surface. So if you uh, modify the surface, then it is possible to get a good reading and shiny object. And there will be some problem uh, associated with the black object like, you know, uh, like velvet or something. So we just need to modify the surface to get rid of this kind of uh, problem. And another problem will be if there are some holes inside uh, the object. So these are the limitations. And also, the object can be like um, there is some certain distance, optimum distance like um, um, 2.20 um, uh, centimeters to 8 meters. So within this limit, we can 
capture uh, or with a good result, good condition result. So you can see this signal amplifier, so signal must be there, so signal should be coming from that. This uh, laser should be uh, bouncing back to get this one. So this is sending a beam and then it is receiving this one. So we just need to be sure that this, uh, it is enough um, strength of the signal. And the application, now I want to talk about the application of that system. So model analysis is basically vibrational analysis under uh, any structural, structural analysis under vibration. So uh, you can see some of the experiment where we have already done with this you know, car seat. So when we drive some cars, you see there are some vibration. So this vibration, under the vibration, uh, you know, the car seat will uh, behave differently at different frequencies. So we can use different types of shakers, uh, and then we can also design that you know, optimum um, uh, car seat. And also the bonnet you can see at the b behind of that. So car bonnet. So these are the examples, and also the earthquake, like building. So also it is possible to model analysis with this you know, uh, equipment. So this equipment has, uh, it's not like it focus, uh, it, can, it can focus a lot of surface area, but uh, uh, also it can be used that, uh, for that shaking analysis. So I think you got uh, a lot of information on this one, and also you can see their website, Polytech, to get the information from uh, their uh, website uh, at polytech.com. Uh, Thank you.